Hello, I'm going to be reading Luke chapter 11, the Lord's Prayer. He was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us <clears throat> to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us. And do not subject us to the final test. Further teachings on prayer. And he said to them, <clears throat> Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. The answer to prayer, and I tell you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives. And the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. For <clears throat> what father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Jesus and Beelzebul. He was driving out a demon that was mute, and when the demon had gone out, the mute person spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do you, do your own people drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he replied, he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. The return of the unclean spirit. When the unclean spirit got out some got out of someone, it roams Oh <clears throat> let me restart. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest, but finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from whence I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes back seven, and then it goes and brings back seven other spirits more wicked than itself who move in and dwell there, and the last condition of that person is worse than the first. True blessedness. While he was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carries you and the breast that which you, you nursed. He said, he replied, Rather, blessed are those who, fear, who hear the word of God and observe it. The demand for a sign. While still more people gathered in the crowd, he said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will it be given except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with, with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here, the simile, the simile of light. No one who lights a lamp 
hides it away, or places it under a bushel basket, but on a lampstand so that those who enter might see the light. The lamp of the body is your eye. When your eye is sound, then your whole body is filled with light, but when it is bad, then your body is in darkness. Take care then that the light in you that the light in you not become darkness. If your whole body is full of light and no part of it is darkness, then it will be as full of light as a lamp illuminating you with its brightness. Denunciation of the Pharisees and the Scholars of the Law After he spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the, pre the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and dish and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil, you fools. You fools, did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes and mint and of rue and of garden, every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings and marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you, scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to, to touch them. Woe to you! You build the memorials of the prophets whom your ancestors killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them and you do the building. Therefore the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles, some of them they will kill and persecute, in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets since, <clears throat> of, the, of all the prophets, <clears throat> in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law. You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When he left, the scribes and Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say.